Hello there, welcome to part two of Verbal Communication. Thank you all so much for watching yesterday's video, really appreciate it. Really happy this week, really pleased that I'm back doing videos, so I'm just gonna keep, so let's just get on with it, shall we? Five, sarcasm. Like I just said, take the words, that's it. They are, they're only gonna take the words. So, and also, sarcasm is quite a lot to process. You've got the words, you've got the face, expressions, tone of voice, body language, and the general situation, because obviously to, to when there's sarcasm, there's a, there's a situation which normally involves a like discussion. And a discussion is quite a lot to process, there's a lot going on in a discussion, because people are making faces, people are making dread things with their voice, people are waving around around when they talk, they might talk like this, yes, I was doing that the other day and it was wonderful. Sarcasm just changes everything, it's like a real game changer. Like if you're talking to someone, it's like, will you just go away? I don't like you. You can kind of get that. Maybe that's that's how I that's how I do sarcasm. Those who are watching may see that. Oh, that's not. That's a joke. That's how it is. It it's a joke. Sarcasm is a joke. People on the spectrum. If you watch this, if you hear something that you're not sure about, ask. Even if you say, if there's someone says to me, I don't like you. So why would you say that? And they say, oh, I was joking. They go, okay. Or they might say, because I don't like you. And then you know, and then you go, bye. Please, if you're ever unsure, just ask. And number six, innuendo. It's innuendo, it's just like the, the literal thinking. You're gonna think, literally, suppose an innuendo, or a metaphor, whatever, it's a bun in the oven. If you've got a bun in the oven, you know, you say, oh look, you've got a bun in the oven, because oh, do they like baking? But no, it means, bun in the oven means that someone's pregnant. But if you say to someone on the autistic spectrum, oh, I've got a bun in the oven, you go, oh, I didn't know you like baking. <laughs> Funny, that is. You might say sexual innuendo, a sexual innuendo, as a joke. And then, whoosh, innuendo, and someone might go, in your endo. No, it's innuendo, it's pronounced innuendo. Uh, in your endo. <laughs> pronounced innuendo, innuendo. In your endo. In you endo. In you. In you endo. In your endo. Penny's dropped. Hopefully, eventually. There's common misunderstandings on both ends. I'm not just saying it's the other person. It can be the Aspie. The Aspie make people on the spectrum make mistakes more often than the neuros, which is why we need more support. Ah, la, 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 la. Everyone is allowed to make mistakes. Everybody. But if the Aspies or the autistics have got the right support, they can be helped in these areas. If you're a support worker in a school, right, or in a college, you cannot just support them academically. Obviously that's a priority. I get that, it's a priority. But pastoral care is what a support worker is. Pastoral, which is not just educational, that's personal, and that's to them. If they're autistic, they're gonna need help socially, communicatively, with their flexibility in their organization and everything and everything. Because if you want them to be well educated and succeed, that is what you need to focus on. And it's actually in Every Child Matters that you want everyone to be um, economically successful or do well financially in the future so then they will be <laughs> awesome well they already are but it may be able to be more awesomer that's all I've got time for today thank you so much for your support yesterday and of course of course just generally it's been so overwhelming I'm really pleased to be doing this and I just it just keeps getting better and better the more I do it and the more people like the page and the more interaction we get it just makes it all worthwhile. Thank you all so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!